Google Arts and Culture is an online platform through which the public can access high resolution images of artworks housed in the partner museums. The platform enables users to virtually tour partner museum galleries, explore physical and contextual information about artwork and compile their own virtual collection. There is also a huge collection of virtual walks of various historical sites across the world. The walkthrough feature of the project uses Google Street View technology. Google Arts and Culture can be a very useful tool for teaching of history. Often we come across material in the textbook, which is very difficult for us to teach if we do not give the students a context. Let us say, for example, we are talking about the capital of the Vijayanagar Empire, Hampi. Google Arts and Culture has a huge collection on Hampi photographs as well as uh, virtual walks. As you can see, there is a huge collection here from various angles of the site. There are also a large number of images which has been taken over the years, which are available both as licensed photographs as well as uh, free for use photographs. As you can see, what a rich collection. And all of this your students can see without budging from their classrooms. So let's quickly go back to a virtual walk and see what we can find. Let's say for instance, we want to see the Vithal Temple complex of Hampi. We click here and here we are right inside the complex. You can keep following these arrows to traverse through different angles of the temple and the complex. As you can see, this 360 degree view would have been possible only because of thousands of photographs which have been taken. You can watch this and move through this virtual walk at your own leisure. Look at the various detailing of sculpture on the temple walls and pillars. You can walk inside the temples as well. Outside to understand how each of these structures were placed within a larger context. Let's say for example we want to travel outside of the country and we are talking about the uh, Roman civilization. So we can go and have a look at the Colosseum. Again, as you can see, there are a large number of material photographs and virtual walks available for the Colosseum as well. So you have given your students a visit of Rome without a visa and a passport. Let's look at a virtual walk here. This is the Piazza de Colosseum in Rome and you can take your students for a walk to see how the old Colosseum now looks like in modern day Rome. So this is the road right around the Colosseum. You might want to turn back here or not and it can give you a feel of traveling through Rome like a tourist. Alternatively, we want to come back into India and look at some Indian miniature paintings. So you have a whole section on Indian miniature paintings which basically talk about the Mughal and the Persian schools of art. And this is more like a photo story so you can follow the arrow and here the first page tells you about the tradition of Indian miniature paintings. There is a map given here which the students can explore and there are some of these paintings that students can study more closely. You can have a close-up view. This is more of a line drawing. Again, a close-up view of 
the painting and you can see each of these brush strokes as individuals. You can see a hunting scene in progress. And you can see that this is an unfinished painting because you can actually see the stenciled in uh, images as well. So it might give the students a feel of how the whole process of painting a Mughal miniature was like. So how do you explore what all Google Arts and Culture has? You can either use the home button or go to explore. So this opens up a whole lot of things for you to have a look at, gives you a bird's eye view of what all uh, Google Arts and Culture has to offer you. You can even click on nearby. So if you allow your device to locate your location, it might show you what all what all galleries are nearby. Now, since I'm sitting in Delhi, it lists out some of um, the museums that are located close to me. Or I can use this icon for searching and I can actually go into very specific searches here. For example, various paintings which show the night sky. You can look at art movements or you can look at something more specific. For example, you want to look at the Bhindetka rock paintings. Bhindetka rock shelters, here we are. And here again, you have a great deal more about the Bhindetka rock paintings. You can study some of the paintings in greater detail. You can use this magnifying glass to zoom into the picture. We can zoom in further and examine some of the animals. In these paintings. Google Arts and Culture is constantly updating itself. They're adding new material every single day. So do come back occasionally as you study with your students we can, um, and use the new button, uh, the search button and see what all uh, you can keep searching for.